I will be doing my um, mini research project on the Scarcella reading, which focuses on the learning of academic language with the three components that are linguistic, cognitive, and psych uh, sociocultural and uh, psychological. Um, I'm going to be emphasizing on um, just the input of the teacher using academic language in the classroom matter when it comes to them actually learning proper English. And I would want to say that it really does. In the Scarcella reading, um, she goes on to include that teachers are not using academic language in the classroom. They themselves are not have the, do not have the knowledge of academic language, therefore are not teaching the ELLs this uh, type of English. So when they are learning the English, they are not learning it properly. They are learning um, based on whatever the teacher is focusing on. Um, because of the linguist, linguistic isolation, they never get the practice of academic language. And at the end of their school career, um, they do not have the knowledge necessary, like the example that Scarcella gives us for the Dewey, um, the doing person, um, the Dewey character in her reading. Uh, she goes on to broadly use Dewey as an example of someone who was not properly taught academic language within his um, high school middle school, I mean, well, his elementary and secondary uh, career. Um, uh, she goes on to in, uh, include that academic language is necessary uh, because if it is not learned, you are not, um, you do not, you do not learn how to communicate with, I guess, educated people, people of power. And uh, like Dewey, you are pointed out and you are signaled out and you are not included in this, I guess, uh, world. Um, and this is why it's very important to learn the academic language and teach the children the academic language because in the school environment is the only place that they're going to be using it. When they are linguistically isolated, that means that they do not use the language in their own communities, in their homes. And if they never have the practice, they never learn it, they never use it. Uh, the way that I relate to it, and from my own personal experiences, is um, my students do not um, have, I guess, uh, the prior knowledge of basic academic language. I want to say basic because they are not at level. I teach at sixth grade reading level, and they are most of them are still at a third grade reading level. I like to teach them some, if not some, I guess most of the academic language that they will be seeing during their STAR examination. And the reason I like to at least expose them is because it is necessary for them to at least know what it looks like and be able to recognize it when they are doing their, their test. Um, he goes on to say that it's important I'm sorry, she goes on to say that it's important to expose the students um, in school as early as kindergarten, such things, um, such like a sharing time. I know that I like to do that with my kids still. We have um, an hour, I'm sorry, not an hour, we have like a like an advisory hour at the beginning of the, of the school, like at 8 o'clock, I'm sorry, when they come in to have breakfast, maybe around... 10, 15 minutes where we sit down and they have sharing time with me. And this is where they discuss, you know, what they did on the weekend, how the week is going, any interesting or important thing that's things that have happened to them during the week. And I feel that this is important because they have they get to speak out. And this is a time that I use sometimes, you know, to correct them or give them other words that they could use instead of, you know, the simple words like, oh, I was having a bad day. And, you know, I would say, well, you know, describe that to me, what, what made it bad. And this way they get to use other words or they get to give me more information. And um, I think that she's on to really a, a good point with that because um, it goes more on the social cultural part of it because 
as the culture, at least here in the Valley, we don't practice academic language as much as we should. And it's simply because, you know, most of the language that we use is either slang, um, that text mix, and we don't, I don't feel like our kids are um, exposed enough to the correct type of academic language. And if we're not using it in the classroom, in the school, then they're never going to get to use it. And um, this completes my, I guess, part of the mini research, and I hope you enjoyed it.